It is Tuesday. Oh, I'm just waving the camera. Okay. What is up, my gang? Thanks for clicking. Is my hair looking good? I think it looks cute. I haven't stretched it out. Which, I've kind of been just rocking the shrinkage lately. I cut my hair not too long ago and I feel like my hair kind of just shrunk because it's healthy, okay? So I'm not mad at it. It is growing though. Ever since I cut it, it has definitely grown back a lot more. I don't think I've gotten back to the length that I was before I cut it, but it is growing pretty fast. I did just want to show y'all how this wash and go is lasting me through the week. I kind of want to start posting like, you know, how does the wash and go last me? Cause I know I've gotten a question before about like, okay, but what wash and go lasts the longest or like what wash and go looks its best after a week. And that's a pretty, that's a great question. So I want to start recording my wash and goes through the week. I wear my wash and goes for a week. So I wash my hair on Sunday. Wash and goes are what I wear majority of the time, but I am, kind of missing some braids. I feel like I need a break too. So maybe I'm gonna get some braids soon, but for right now we just rocking the curls. I think my hair looks really good. So this combo is the, so first actually, if you watched my video last week, it was just a chit chat, curly talk. This is that same wash and go. Well, first I started off the wash day using Rio Gio's, what did I use? Whatever's on the screen. Oh, I used their scalp revival. That shampoo y'all. Are you kidding me? Like, I was not expecting a shampoo to foam as much as that one, especially a shampoo out of a jar with the exfoliating beads in it, which is, it's not too rough, which I love too. The smell, 10 out of 10. They did send me that shampoo, but honestly, I might have to stock back up on that shampoo. That shampoo was amazing. And then I used the Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioner. I could go grab these products, but I don't really feel like it. And that was some juicy, juicy deep conditioning. I sat under the hooded dryer and I just love sitting under a hooded dryer with some thick deep conditioner. I just, I love it and my hair loves it. And then I used the leave-in, don't know what it was called. I loved the consistency of the spray and spraying it in my hair was super easy. I didn't use a lot because I didn't know how well it was gonna mix with the Diva Curl Defining Gel. This was my first time using Diva Curl. And these are the results after two days. So let me rewind a little bit. So when I first was done styling my hair, I finally tried Diva Curl for the first time. Baby, let's see how this turns out, okay? I did sit under a hooded dryer because I had plans that night and I wanted my hair to be dry. And the gel claims to be a zero crunch and I would agree. It doesn't give crunch, it gives stiff. Like, <laughs> this is not one of those wash and goes that I would do and then just walk out of the house and then let it air dry because my hair was on stiff. Some wash and goes, I can get away with just wearing them wet out the house and then letting them dry throughout the day and then they're still like giving shape, like it looks cute without me having to use my dry, my hair dryer as soon as it dries. This is not one of those wash and goes I had to like unstiff it <laughs> with my favorite, this is Bay, to be honest. And then after that, it was great. Like I really liked it. It was raining on Monday and I did get caught in the rain. So it wasn't raining crazy, but I feel like for to get rained on, there is a little bit of frizz. I've just been really chilling with the bonnet. Like I usually I'll put like scrunchies in. If you watch my week in my wash and go vlog, I kind of show you what I do with the scrunchies or sometimes I'll sleep in a pineapple. But lately I've literally just been throwing my bonnet on and calling it a night. And I feel like that's why I'm kind of getting this shape. <laughs> like just this like Afro shape and I don't mind it. I'm just sleeping on it and it's just like kind of clumping all together basically. Cause I did shingle, but it doesn't really look like I shingled. I have this tucked behind my ear cause it's kind of frizzy right here on this side. My hair feels okay, but so far my only problem. So I don't know if it was the leave-in that didn't really mix well with the defining gel or if I used too much gel, but I do have a little bit of flaking. When my hair is flaking too much, shoddy, I, I gotta put my hair up. Like I cannot deal with 
crazy flaking. Ain't nothing falling right now, but I did have a black shirt on today going to work and I did notice when I took my bonnet off, there was some flakes on my shirt. You don't really see anything on this gray, so it's not terrible. And again, I don't know which one it is. Maybe I did use too much product or maybe it was that leave-in that didn't really mix well, but you can even see up here a little bit some like whiteness from the pro like see yeah and i feel like maybe that's from using too much but let's just see how the rest of this week goes see i like to run but it's been way too cold outside so hopefully i can like get a little workout in tomorrow i am a person that works out that tries to work out at least I don't let a week go by without working out. So I'm not a person that works out daily. I'm trying to get there though. I'm, if someone, you know, got some tips, even though I know the tips is just to do it. <laughs> I am ath no, physically active. So, you know, watch and go has to, it has to last me and it has to be resilient to working out. I have to put it up. If I put it up, I don't want it to look a mess. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow and we gonna see how this wash and go is holding up. Let's see how, it holds me up until Sunday. I feel like my hair could be a little bit more moisturized. What's the back giving? It's going from T3 is going from one person to the team that they increase grant. And you're gonna hear from Marilyn um, who's working with our HBCUs. Hi everyone, I am Jasmine. Our next session is tomorrow. It's another great place to connect with us and stay up to date with webinars, grant opportunities, community events, resources, etc. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much. <laughs> It is wash day again, um, and my hair is looking like this. I did put it in a bun because Saturday I had to work, um, and my hair was a flaky. Like, I thought the flakes weren't that bad until it kept flaking. Like, it wasn't getting worse, but it just kept flaking. It was just not cute. Like, it's still flaking. It is still flaking. I don't know if y'all can really see it because it's not bad flaking, but it's flaking, which is still just as irritating. I do believe it's a mix of, because my hair is also really dry, I think it's a mix of not using enough leave-in conditioner or something that was more hydrating with the gel and also using too much gel. Even though I feel like the first thing, if I would have put something else to coat my hair and then put the gel, it wouldn't have done like look this dry or flake this much. I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not, but I'm not a fan. <laughs> I don't know if it was the gel's fault. I do know that, I did see that Diva Curl has multiple different gels like that. So I would have to try it again. This was my first time using Diva Curl. So I don't know, if anyone watching this tried it? If you have tried it, do you like it? I also feel like maybe someone else, maybe someone with thinner hair would like it. Cause you don't have, I feel like with thinner hair, you don't have to use as much products. I feel like a lot of people that are so heavy handed are people with thicker hair. Cause they want to feel like that product on their hair. I don't know. That that could just be me or like shorter hair because it was still a nice consistency gel that's why i'm feeling like it's not the gel's fault i just for my hair should have added something with it to help it like moisturize my hair throughout the week i'm gonna say it's user error okay i'm gonna give the benefit of the doubt and say it's use user error i should have used a like maybe that styling cream maybe i should have used that with it but it's just it's dry and it's flaky and I'm so ready to wash my hair. If I had to put my hair in a bun or something, that's because I was not feeling either the definition or it was flaky or it was dry. But I will be trying it again. Let me know y'all's thoughts. Like I feel like from the beginning of the week, my hair was definitely looking a lot better than this, but sometimes the end of the week looks like this too. And you know what, I ain't even mad at it. That's natural hair for you. I'm about to wash it and do some twists. But thank y'all for clicking. Thank you for watching, especially if you watched this far. I'm about to hop in the shower and do wash day again. If next week's video is already up, make sure you tune into that. But 
if it's not um until then i'll see y'all next week and deuces yeah child i'm gonna have to try try that again